Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys stuff like designing patterns for the glass, cutting it, um, foiling, wait, sanding, foiling, and soldering, and I even add some stuff of me preparing wire and hooks for it, and printing off, and designing and printing off, um, wrapping paper. So I hope you guys enjoy it, I will see you at the end of the video. Okay, so it is about 3.24 out here in the studio, and it is the first time today I am getting out here to do stuff. That's okay. So I plan on baking, making this huge drop on the 25th the day before Black Friday. So I have about 15 items at the moment ready to go up and I make, I wanna make, well I have, they're not ready, they're, they're like cut. I have pieces, a bunch of pieces cut and there's still a lot I need to do until they're ready. But they will be. Now, I also ha need to make a pattern. So I made a design for these three like window sun catchers back in May, but I just never did anything with them, which is absurd because they're really pretty and I really like them. I just never, I guess I just had other things that were higher priority at the time. But now i hoping, hoping that I actually get to do them because they're so cool. They're my favorite, but I haven't even made them yet. I just don't know if I have the glass for the designs that I've made. So we're gonna be figuring that out. I may have to change some things around. But, so I'm gonna take you guys with me while I go through Adobe Illustrate and I format it to be printed and then I'm gonna do some printing sizing, which always is a ton of fun and a lot of wasted paper when I do that, but you guys will see. And then I, um, I have some footage of me cutting all the pieces, so you guys will see that as well. And later on, I will be sanding and foiling and soldering them all. So, all of that, super fun. You guys will get to see.
My plan for today is to solder and to like chain everything up and get it ready to take photos tomorrow because we are getting very, very close to the 25th, which is when I said the store would be stocked. And today is the 22nd, so I'm not on time. That's all right, that's okay. But over the, over the last week, I think it was on Thursday, me and mom went to Callahan, Florida to go to a glass store, which was really cool. I was so excited. It was awesome. I, I got a ton of glass. It was really, I was so happy. But the owners of the store were really nice and really experienced in the art form, so they gave me some pointers on what I'm doing wrong <laughs> and how I can, you know, change things. So I learned that I'm cutting glass wrong that you should only put seven pounds of pressure on a sheet of glass. Like that's the maximum. You should work underneath that. And I definitely have been putting my whole body weight on the, the knife thing, what is it? The cutter to cut the glass. So I was just gonna put like a disclaimer over the video of me cutting glass over the few weeks. Cause there's a, a lot of, there's a very long video of me cutting glass. And so I was just gonna put like uh, don't do it like I'm doing it sort of thing. But I managed to break two important pieces of glass. If you can see that one and that one. So I don't know if it focused. So, so now I have to recut them. But I'm going to take you guys with me and we are going to learn how I'm supposed to cut glass. We're gonna figure it out. And maybe I'll actually do it right this time. Okay, so the reason why they're cornered like this is so that they can go with the coasters. Of course, this isn't the one that it's gonna be attached to. That's the reason. So they're all, what I tried to do was go from the one inch to the three inch. And this isn't very accurate, probably. This is what I was doing to make sure that they were all at least sort of the same size. Now, the way that he taught me was to not, okay, so this is how I normally cut glass. First off, that sound is horrible. Second off, if you can see, there's like powder on it. So it's like chipping. So it breaks like that, but it's still not the proper way. Like that's a really wavy edge. It's not very clean at all. So what he said it was just barely, you just need to score it really lightly. And the way I normally would tap something is like this. But he said one, two, three. Okay, that did not work. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay. He has told me not to go over the same line twice. So, I'm gonna measure out this line. Let's see how many times this is gonna take us. It's not going right. Maybe I'm not pressing hard enough again. So let's just... Okay. So then there's no powder, no chipping. Hey! That was pretty nice. I mean, it's, it is a cleaner cut. That's pretty nice, okay. Good. Now you have that one. So, yep, they match. I mean, it's a little smaller. It'll be fine. And the second one, flip it over to the smooth side, because this side has a lot of texture. It has a lot of detail of like, I think there's like leaves. And on this side, it's all smooth. So you always want to cut on the smooth side.
now that I have cut, sanded, and refoiled these pieces, they, we are ready to actually get back to work. So I have this plan for like a mobile sort of thing. So I have all these pieces. So I was gonna do, I have these, I really like the way these look. They're black, they're like clear. These white, oh that's pink. Oh, okay. The whites, it's like a really pretty like alternating. I had a plan to make little holders for these air plants. They're so cute. So I was thinking, because there's five of them, so we need five little holders. I like these pieces a lot. You can see that. I think they're beautiful. So it was gonna be something like, I can't do it with just my hands, but like that, very messy demonstration. Just a holder like that. Okay, so then it would be in there like that. This is a terrible demonstration. Yeah.
already started filming this, but I put the wrong card in, so it didn't film any of it, which does make me very sad. But so I need to make, finish this one to make it look like this. I need to make two of them because I'm making three, like almost like mobile, mobile, not mobile, mobile stuff to like, because I showed it earlier, the diamond pieces of glass that'll hang off of it. I think it'll be really pretty. I hope. I think it will be. And I was talking about how, what was I talking about? I was talking about how difficult it can be sometimes because by the time with like long pieces of art that take a long time, like how when I make a new release, it takes me like a couple weeks before it's ready. And by the time I'm done with the, like I'm almost done with the release, I'm ready for the next piece. I'm ready for the next project. Like I'm almost a little bored of it, you know? Like I'm not as invested in this, this certain like style as I was when I started. Oh, that looks nice. I mean, it doesn't look exactly the same, but I like it. I think that looks good. Right? Yeah, they're not all gonna look the same. This, this could be fixed a little. Mm -hmm. I'm not really good at talking while I work. I get distracted too easily. Case in point. I mean, it's different, but I still think it's really cool. I think that's gonna look really good. Mm -hmm. So we're just trying to get like the same feeling, same vibe. It did it turn off again? Am I filming? I am. I'm still filming. I do not trust it anymore. I do not trust that camera. It's a very good camera. I like this camera a lot, but I don't trust it. I've been filming a lot with my phone lately. My phone's been doing a really good job, but sometimes, sometimes like the color turns out weird or it doesn't focus on the right things, which can really bother me. I was so, or I, I was trying to think about stuff to talk about while I do this and I couldn't, I couldn't come up with anything. Anything interesting at least, that's too short. I had to cut it in piece. But I, I thought I could just do like a stream of consciousness. St stream of consciousness. I, okay, you get the point. I, I'm bad at talking sort of thing. So like the other day I was looking for like museums to go to. Cause I like museums and I know that I'm being like, we're all being like super careful right now cause COVID, but, like once it's safe, you know, I'd really like to go to a museum. I haven't been to one, like not like an art museum. I've been to plenty of those, but I mean like a museum with like dinosaurs, like a children's museum. I like children's museums. They're more, they're far more interesting. And I found one in Jacksonville that had a planetarium. Oh, that's so cool. I, I love space so much. And I really love stars and stuff. And I haven't lived in an area where you can like look at the stars clearly since I was like six. And I miss that. Like, and I want, I've always wanted to go on like a stargazing like trip, like a trip specifically just to go see like a, like a meteorite shower. Me Meteorite shower? Yeah, you get the point. Like one of those. It's so cool. Space is awesome. And I've always wanted to, and I've always wanted, I went to a planetarium when I was like a little kid in Colorado, when I went to visit my family, and it was so cool. I loved it. And I've always wanted to go back. And I learned my sister-in-law, she's never been to like a museum with dinosaurs in it. Okay, they're getting smaller. Good effort, but I need another one. Like, and I really like, like the one I went to in Colorado, it had like mummies and stuff in it. 
so cool. I don't, I was very small when we went, and so I don't remember a ton, but I remember it was cool. Yeah. And while I was looking at, you know, fun things to do in the future, I've always wanted to try glass blowing. I'm, I'm just, I feel like it's the next step in this whole thing I'm doing with all the glass. And glass, it's so cool to make like glass things. I've always, I also want to try pottery. That also seems like next step, like the same sort of like area. It just seems cool. But I want, I want to go and try, learn how to do like glass blowing stuff, as I was saying. And I found a place in Jacksonville that for like 375 something, you get like a six day class. That's so cool. And that's, that's reasonable. That's a reasonable price. And you get to like bring a friend. So I thought maybe in the future, me and mom would go. That seems fun. I would like to. I've always wanted to. I, so I'm like a good mythical morning fan. And when I was younger, they did like, oh, that's not right. They did a series where they would, I think it was like a series with like Allstate or something. I don't remember, Geico? I don't remember why they were doing it, but they were sponsored by someone, someone in like the insurance business, I think. And they would go to like a bunch of different unique jobs and like learn how to do that. So they went to like a cereal factory and a hotel. I think that may have been for a different thing. But they did like a glass blowing episode and it was really fun. It was very funny. Of course it was funny. It's not, but it was very interesting and I think they did that a couple years ago. Maybe that is where the whole idea came from. To do like glass stuff for me? I'm not sure. Well, my parents do have a friend that does stained glass work and they bartered with him a couple years ago when we, we used to have a tiny house that we built and they bartered with him to have him put stained glass or did they pay him? I don't know. But they had him put stained glass in our front door and it was beautiful. It had a big W for Wathen. It was so pretty, but the W for Wathen works when you sell stuff because it could also just be a W for welcome. So it doesn't, doesn't really matter. So it's cool. And he did a W for this house as well for us. And I always loved that. So maybe that's where the whole stained glass idea came from. I don't know if any of this footage is usable. I just thought I would try rambling and see what happened because I have a lot of thoughts, and if I want to, I can, or don't want to, I can just do a very long, I can talk about nothing for a long time. Just pretty much all the sound in my head is just me talking to myself about nothing. You know, as kids, like 2000s kids, we all watched YouTubers growing up, and like, we would watch, I don't know, I watched a lot of like gaming YouTubers and cooking YouTubers. So whenever I'd be like playing a game or cooking, I would do like commentary for what I was doing because it was a weird time in our lives. And I feel like that trained me for this almost. Like, of course I'm saying like way more than I thought I would. But, I don't know. This probably isn't usable. Because I didn't, it's absolutely none of this makes any sense or is important at all to what I am doing. There we go. I reached 200 followers this morning, which is so cool. I know it's not a lot on, on Instagram. 200 followers on, followers on Instagram. We're so excited. I was really excited when I woke up this morning and saw that. So I decided I'm going to do like a giveaway for to celebrate my 200 followers. I feel so cool saying that. Um, I know that's not a lot. And I know I have a lot of friends who have way more, but that's fine. How long have I, I've had a, my Instagram account since like 2016. No, that's not right. It's like 2018. So it's been a while, 2019. I don't know. 
it's been it's been an amount of time that I do not care to remember. So it's taken me a while to get 200 followers, but I think that's fun. I think that's cool. Plus, I've only recently been like posting regularly. I used to post like every couple months, but lately I've been posting every day and I've been using like a scheduling app for that because I cannot remember to post regularly like that. My brain does not allow me to remember little things like that. So I use a, it's a website called Later. I use the free version and it works really well. It posts everything on time. Everything's good. I like it. I can post like 30 posts a month, which is great for, I mean, it's not off for like a post every day. Every once in a while there's a month with 31 days in it, but I can post, I don't have to post that last one day. Oh, I dropped it. Oh. Yeah, I probably didn't have to do this for that one, did I? I probably, I probably didn't have to open up any of these now that I think about it. There was definitely an easier way to do this. That's okay. Figuring it out. It's a little wonky, but it's unique. They're all original. They're all made by my little hands. It's even there. That one. Sorry. Yeah, this one's a little small, but I like it. Okay. They're done. Okay, back to your regular stuff. Regular, back to the regular stuff. I should do like vocal exercises. Right. It is now 7.12. I've been out here for almost about four hours or so. I am tired. Can I turn the mic on? I did. I did. So now I have quite a few finished products. By the time this comes out, the giveaway will probably be at least started. Maybe not done, but started. Isn't it cute? And I like it. it. A little air plant goes in there. So I have all of these done. But I just need to put them all on this frame. And then, where is it? Oh, here it is. I got this guy. Pretty cool. I like him. Whatever. So I had to. So the ones that I have right now are like this. They're also hooked together. But I had to like turn it upside down because it just wasn't like laying right. It was like twisting a lot. So doing that seemed to fix it. So you do that. Oh, and I have these coasters. I don't need to do anything to these. I just need to wash them all. Because they're all, you know, a little grimy and sticky. Once I wash them, they'll all be very shiny though. Then have this one. So pretty. I, I need to wash them all. So if you see some little imperfections, no you didn't. And I need to hook all of these onto, onto these. All of these onto these. So yeah. And then after that I'm going to take them all inside and wash them in the laundry room sink. And then I will eat dinner. Excited about that part. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. All right.
Oh, the countdown, that's the timer. The Go. Okay, so now that everything is done being cut, sanded, soldered, photographed, and uploaded, now it's time for me to clean. <laughs> this is like the final step of it all. Hey, you better clean, it's a mess. I know it's a mess. It's disgusting. Thank you. It's our studio. I know. <laughs> We have people coming over to pick up paintings in a couple days, so it's important that I clean. Yep. So, do a little hyperlapse with me. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> fun making it and I hope you guys had fun watching so if you did make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram it should be somewhere here I plan on doing giveaways every month for the month or uh, every month for the year of 2022 we'll see if I can stick to that but it's what I plan on doing so I hope to see you guys again I will be doing more videos like this so I'll see you guys later bye <laughs>